I'm sorry to lie. It's not morning. It's early afternoon. But either way, how you all doing? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Katrika and I upload videos on Wednesdays called Level Up with Woo. And the Woo stands for Wisdom and Understanding. Now, I... I had uploaded, no, I didn't upload the video yet. I had filmed the video that was supposed to go up tomorrow for you guys. And as I was looking at it, editing it, I was like, you know what? I'm not doing that. I'm not uploading this. And something within me just, you know, just said, talk about the process. So this week's video is um, dealing with, is your process weighing you down? is your process weighing you down and it will be sort of like a combination of things i've spoken about before but this week for me y'all this week has been rough um it's the last week before finals and everything is just coming at me all at once from all different angles everything right and it's just been a very very rough week and if I'm going to be honest with you guys, at one point during the week, I was in bed and I'm like, I'm not getting out. And I felt like the weight of everything was on me. And then it was like I was faced with a moment of giving in or standing up and say, not today, Satan, not today. So if your process is weighing you down, I got you. And I understand it's not easy. Sometimes people who are in a position of influence, we see them a lot on YouTube or on Instagram or whatever platform they're on. And sometimes it makes things look so easy and then you're struggling and then you're looking at yourself like, okay, so what's going on with me? It's not always a question of um, you per se, it's just a matter of how you are experiencing or how you've experienced and dealt with things that have come up to block you in the past but we're going to change some of that today okay so if you see me looking down i jotted down some notes because i really didn't want to um, miss anything so the there are five things i want to talk about um in terms of the process that you need to really pay attention to in order to um, level up and be intentional in what it is that you're doing. So first things first, identify patterns of behavior. And what I mean by that is I fundamentally for a long time have my pattern of behavior is avoidance. When anything rough comes up, any trials, any, I just, I'm just like, I'm, I, I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to hear you. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to deal with it. But that is not a purposeful life driven mentality. <laughs> okay. That is not going to get you from where you are to where you want to be. So identify the patterns of behavior that keeps you where you are. So for me, like I said, it was avoidance. If for you, it could be something else. So identify the thing that you do all the time when, when, when you're faced with difficulties, right? And when you identify that pattern, you will realize how it works against you at every turn. And once you identify it, I want you to be intentional at every point until it becomes a habit. <clears throat> that when you're faced with certain situations, you will no longer rely on that pattern of behavior. You will do, you will behave in a way that is, um, that is opposite of what you always do. Okay. So one, identify patterns of behavior. And once you identify your pattern of behavior, it's easy to figure out what's blocking you, right? So for me, again, um, a lot of the times when I encounter difficulties, it's about fear. I'm fearful. That's my go-to emotion. And I'll talk about that um, 
in a little while um, as to why and how. Let's get to know each other first. But <laughs> patterns of behavior, right? Um, then what's blocking you? So again, for me, it's fear. It, 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 it just rises up at every time something is going on. Like I have to ask myself, what am I afraid of? What is it? Uh, and, and for, I've talked about this before in some of my other videos. It's like fear of failure, fear of success can be equally challenging, right? But we have fear of so many things. Whenever we're venturing into something new, you don't know what the steps are. So it's natural to be somewhat fearful, but don't allow that fear to prevent you from moving on. Sometimes we look at people and we see them being so successful and we're like, well, what makes them so different from me? Are they, do they have some kind of superpower that I don't know about? No, sometimes it's a simple as matter. Let's rewind that. Sometimes it's as simple a fact as them looking their fear head on and overcoming it. Sometimes when we, when we come to a detour in the road and we, we need to take and make certain decisions, we allow fear to, to prevent us from going just past that roadblock. And sometimes what lies behind the roadblock is your victory. So do not allow fear or any other blockage to stop you from living a life of purpose, reaching your goals and, 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 and just living the life that you were meant to live. Okay. So the third thing I want to talk about is taking intentional steps. So when you know what's blocking you, right? You are then put in a position where you can say, okay, take me for example, if I know fear blocks me all the time, whenever I encounter a difficulty or a new situation that I'm not quite sure how to navigate, I recognize the fear and say, you know what? I know what this feeling is. And though it's not nice, and though I would rather lay up in my bed with my covers over my head, that's not going to get me where I want to get to. So I need to take deliberate steps. I need to be intentional. Be intentional in the steps that you make. When you are intentional, you're living a life of awareness. You are aware of who you are. You are aware of your purpose. So your steps, based on your plan, don't forget, in my blog, I talk about a plan all the time. Be intentional in what you do. Stop. And this was for me too. I was living a life just day by day, just doing whatever I had to do that day to survive without really a plan in place. And it hurt me for a very long time because it limited my potential. I limited my potential. So I want you to be very intentional in the steps that you take that will advance you strategically to the, the, to your purpose, to the goals that you want to achieve. And number four, Surround yourself with wise counsel. And this is a biblical principle because after all, it's called love up with Wu Wednesday, right? So last week I talked about moving in silence. Yes, moving in silence in terms of stop blasting your plans to whomever, Tom, Dick, Jane, Aaliyah, Melissa, whomever. Stop blasting your plans and broadcasting them before it gets off the ground. Because like I said last week, not everyone that smiles with you has good intentions for you. But when I talk about seek wise counsel, seek people who will support your vision, who will support your goal. Um, if you notice when Jesus walked the earth, when he started his ministry, he had 12 disciples with him, okay? Be, surround yourself with people who will help you execute the plan, 
who will guide you, who will provide you with good counsel, sometimes even counsel that you don't want to hear, right? But surround yourself with people who will not be afraid to tell you like it is. Do not surround yourself with yes people. Those people aren't going to get you to where you need to go. Surround yourself with people who've who, who've been where you want to go and who can teach you and mentor you in a space of love, in authenticity, authenticity. Oh my gosh, God, I can't speak today. Who will speak to you from a place of genuinely being interested in helping you get to where you want to get to, okay? So seek wise counsel. And lastly, you have to claim it so you can achieve it. If you cannot stand firmly and say, yes, I am going to be this person. I'm going to do that. I'm going to, if you cannot, if you cannot claim that in the here and now, if you cannot, if your mind cannot conceive it, you will never achieve it. Everything begins with a thought. Going to the moon, a thought. Uh, uh, every invention, a thought. So do not discount your ability. And this is why I always talk about having a, a strong mindset. A mindset geared towards growth is because you need to know that it's all up here. You need to be able to Stand in your present circumstance, no matter what it is. It could be that, you know, you're walking, you're currently walking through a mess. It could be that you are at the beginning stages of your business, of your book, of your program, of your marriage, whatever it is. It could be that you're at the beginning stages, right? But if you cannot see the end, if you cannot visualize yourself being victorious in the end, if your mind cannot grasp that concept, it will be very difficult and I say impossible for you to achieve the things you want to achieve, okay? So again, I will put a list of the five um, things I talked about, the five steps I talk about in overcoming the process when the process weighs you down in the description box below. But again, guys, if you don't get anything from this video, I want you to get that in order for you to be able to get to where you want to get to, you first have to believe. You have to believe so that when the, the storms come, that belief will propel you forward. The, the belief will propel you when your bank account is not is working against you, when the people who are closest to you don't believe in you, when you're getting all no's, the belief will carry you to that one yes that you need. And that's what I want you guys to hold on to, okay? So again, thank you so much and before I go, are you guys reading my blog? If you're not reading my blog, then I don't know what to tell you. But I upload, um, I post two blogs a week on Wednesdays and Sundays. Just go to www.katrikagittens.com. That's katrikagittens.com. You will see it in the last banner um, before the video close out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you guys. Thank you so much for being here, giving me your time. I appreciate it. I appreciate you. Take care, as always. Um, again, thanks for spending some time with me. Keep on keeping on. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you, and take care. Mm -hmm. Goodbye.